Welcome back to another MLB video and this morning when that Francisco Lindor Carlos Carrasco to the Mets blockbuster went down I made a breaking news video before knowing the full package where I just pretty much talked about how good this is for the Mets how they're probably going to re-sign Lindor have Carrasco at the back end of the rotation and how that's a great trade but now I'm going to be giving you guys a timeline of how the Indians have traded a vast majority of their notable and big players since the World Series in 2016 actually a shorter timetable than that in the last 18 months they have traded all these guys i'll be mentioning in this video so just flashing back a few years in 2016 the indians they looked great they were in the world series had a 3-1 lead looked like they were gonna win it they had guys like trevor bauer Corey kluber leading the rotation they had carlos carrasco mike clevenger was a young guy coming up they had francisco lindor on the squad as well but after that 3-1 lead things went downhill as the Cubs made one of the best comebacks in the World Series and won the better World Series to watch of all time. So now for the timeline of how that roster has been disassembled in just the last 18 months, we start things off on July 31st, 2019, just a mere days after Bauer threw the ball over the fence to express his frustration and Francona pulling him in the rough game against the Kansas City Royals. So Bauer ended up getting traded to the Cincinnati Reds and Bauer he's the top free agent on the market right now he won the Cy Young last year was just so dominant and they got in return Yasiel Puig who is currently a free agent looking for interested teams Fran Mel Reyes who's a solid DH then left-handed pitcher Logan Allen and third baseman Victor Nova there could be some players that make an impact but nothing like Trevor Bauer was in 2020 and what he's going to be getting on the market this offseason and now jumping ahead a few months into the offseason December 15th 2019 as two young two-time Cy Young winner Corey Kluber has been traded to the Texas Rangers an end of the era as Kluber and Bauer were anchoring that rotation for a few years Corey Kluber especially just the dominant ace for so long in return they got Delano DeShields who in 37 games in 2020 had a 250 average zero homers and seven RBIs and he's part of a very weak Cleveland outfield and then they got a relief pitcher Emmanuel Classe throws pretty hard but he's currently suspended 80 games for PED so that is not a good look right there so and then the next trade that we have to talk about is August 31st 2020 so there's a while in between them this was at the trade deadline of the crazy two month 60 game season Mike Clevenger is shipped away to the Padres it looked like Clevenger could be there to stay after they traded guys like Bauer and Kluber it looked like guys like Clevenger and Bieber could be the next studs of the rotation but they decide to even go further and send Clevenger to the Padres where they got a big package with Austin Hedges, Josh Naylor who actually played well towards the end of the season, Cal Quantrill, Gabriel Rias, Owen Miller, and Joey Cantillo in return. Josh Naylor he had some big moments for the Indians but Clevenger on that rotation next year with Hugh Darvish, Blake Snell, Chris Paddock, and possibly others. Denelson Lament had a great year last year. They, that is just a really good trade for the Padres as well as they had no shortage of prospects and didn't have to give up anything too high in their organization and then the trade that capped this off January 7th 2020 which is today when I'm making this video and when the trade went down just about five six hours ago Francisco Lindor and Carlos Carrasco traded to the New York Mets who are really making some big moves in return for Andres Jimenez who looked pretty promising last year when he played he started getting some games or starts at shortstop from Ahmed Rosario but Rosario he was formerly a top prospect in the Mets organization he's shown some flashes of being a star potential player in this league then they also get Josh Wolf with the Indians pitching development he could become a pretty good player and Isaiah Green who's just a second round draft pick 69 overall in this 2020 MLB draft this past summer so let me know what you guys think the Indians have traded Mike Clevenger, Trevor Bauer, Francisco Lindor, Carlos Carrasco, and Corey Kluber. Some household names for Indians fans, some star players for many years for the Cleveland Indians. They have traded them all in just a year and a half, 18 months. 
that was a crazy 18 months for Indians fans as stuff keeps going down. Now they have to worry about players like Jose Ramirez, maybe Zach Plesac, but right now they have Ramirez, they have Carlos Santana, and they just are stepping forward with guys like Shane Bieber and Zach Plesac in the rotation to anchor them. Let me know your thoughts on the Indians' big trades. Which one was the biggest, and what do you think about the Indians' Mets trade today, and what is next for Cleveland as they seem to be in a rebuild?